Hi guys, so I am back with another video. So because it's getting so much warmer here in England and in general because it's spring, um, I thought I would do kind of like a summery makeup look. Really colourful, really kind of bright, bright, bright colours. Um, so I a couple of months ago bought the Revolution. Um, it's the ultimate colour chaos palette. Um, and I never really use it, um, because I never really go for like a daring look, I usually go for like browns and pinks, that sort of colour, so, um, this is what the palette looks, oh, okay, a lot of paper's falling out, but this is what the palette looks like, um, it's got a lot of like blues and pinks and greens, and I was like, do you know what, why am I actually going to use those colours ever, um, but I thought I would actually give it a go and do like a nice summery makeup look with it. Um, and I have recently saw on Instagram a lot of people mixing the blues and the pinks together. Um, and I thought I would just give it a go, see what it turns out like. If I like it then I like it, if not then maybe one of you will and you'll kind of seek inspiration from it. I'm not like a really daring person, a lot of people like to wear pinks and blues as their eyeshadows. We'll see, we'll see how it turns out. So if you'd like to see today's video, then please keep watching. Okay, so now I have scooted you guys a little bit closer. Um, I'm just gonna take this out because this is completely unnecessary. Every single palette that you get, you never use that brush. <laughs> um, so, okay, starting with the crease, I am going to use this shade right here it's called calm me down um i do have like a little cheat sheet thing that you get with it to see what the colors are actually called so i'm just gonna put that kind of as my transition shade just in the crease of my eye with a big fluffy brush Okay, which way do I want to go? Do I go for pink on the top or blue on the top? I'll go for blue on the top. Okay, so I am going to now take this shade here called Overboard. And I'll swatch this for you guys first, so I'll just take my arm here and swatch that. So it is quite a pigmented shade, it is slightly patchy, but we'll see how it goes when we're actually blending that in. So I'm just going to take a smaller brush and I might actually use this mirror here, you know. Just gonna put that in the crease. That's actually not that pigmented. That looks so badly. Um, I'm actually gonna mix this shade in with it as well. Um, so that one's called Wicked. W K D. Wicked. I don't know. I don't actually know. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, that one's much better with pigmentation. See that pigmentation compared to the other one? So we're just gonna mix a little bit of the two. In the crease. Okay, and I'm just going to take the fluffy brush and just kind of make sure it's properly, probably, properly blended. Okay, 
sure that one's done. Okay, and now which pink one do I take? Do I take this one? Oh, that's that's really nice. Look at that one. Right, are you guys ready? Oh, can I? So that one's quite nicely pigmented actually. That would be really nice and bright. So I'm just going to take that same brush again, tap it off, and then just put it here. I'm going to kind of dab it on because I am going to try and blend it as much as I can. I'm just going to take some more of the blue. Put it on top of there, and then I'm just going to take the big fluffy brush and just kind of blend them both out. I'm noticing there is some fallout, so you are probably better off doing this if you are going to do this look before you do foundation. That's the mistake that I've just made. Okay. Okay, so now that the application of that is done, what I'm actually going to do is kind of create like a line in the crease um, with a concealer to kind of make it like a white sort of colour. Um, and I'm using the collection Last Imperfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. So I'm just going to do that on my hand to get a bit of the product out. And then I'm going to take an angled brush. And I'm going to dip that in the concealer and just kind of go like... Do you know what, I might actually take a different brush because this one's really crap. I might just take like a little tiny kind of pointy brush.
like your little kind of outy sort of a thing. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the other side. And now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with some of the pigment on it and just kind of go along the line. Because as you can tell here, there's like a white sort of a, a divider line now in it. But you can still see kind of what I did with the concealer part of it. Okay, and now I'm just going to take a eyeliner and create a wing. Okay, time to wax some mascara on. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's look, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. So, until next time then, bye guys!